In 1954, the adventure of a Seagram building in New York becomes the defining moment in her life. Ms. Van Der Rohe, the architect, slips into the role of surrogate father figure and mentor. From this moment on, the built world becomes Lambert's focus. Architecture becomes her passion for life. Rather than acquire the single masterwork, she prefers collecting bodies of drawings, series of photographs, and theoretical books to learn how architects think, design, practice, and plan. As her collection grows and grows, she dreams of giving it a home and a purpose. The idea for a museum, an archive, and a research center for architecture begins to kindle. Phyllis wants a powerful forum that'll speak out for architectural values and will put Canada on the map. She invites Montreal architect Peter Rose to design a modern yet classical gray stone structure that would wrap its wings around the historic Shaughnessy House that she had rescued from demolition. She invites Montreal artist architect Melvin Charney to create an urban garden open to the public all year round. Finally, in 1989, after 10 years of Lambert's determination and commitment, the Canadian Centre for Architecture is unveiled. How's it look, sir? How's it look? Oh, marvelous. This complex symbolizes a commitment and a contribution of great beauty and uncommon generosity. There is no place quite like it, and it is no less original than the talented oddball who created it. Lambert plans, designs, rejuvenates, battles, rescues, renews, restores, builds. She wears buildings the way other people wear clothes.